Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here and we have a quick video for you today. So in today's video, we are going to be installing the red push button ignition switch from a TRX inside my Rebel. So I might as well just start a fake TRX playlist of all my videos. So I did the front lights, I did the rear lights, and now we're doing the red TRX switch. Maybe I'll do a fake TRX supercharger in this thing, who knows. But I went ahead and picked this switch up from Accessory Parts. So I think I paid about $32 for this plus shipping. This is part number 68453905AA. So I'll put a link to this down in the description below. But this is the part number for the TRX switch, which is a direct fit for the 2019 and newer push button start RAM. So the 1500s. This is a super simple install. It doesn't require any special tools other than a seven millimeter socket and your hands but let's go ahead and dive into swapping this out but before we do the reason why I went with this switch over the overlay so I know there's a bunch of overlays you could buy for the switches and I was looking at those and I was really close to pulling the trigger but then I realized that a lot of those overlays are anywhere from 15 18 20 dollars even for some of the nicer overlays and this switch is only $32. So I figure for twice the cost of the overlay, I could just go ahead and get a nice switch. That way the backlighting on the switch and the factory finish looks really nice. Now I don't have anything against those overlays. I do think some of them are pretty cool, but I just thought this one looked really nice. So I said, screw it for less than $50. I could go ahead and update the switch to the TRX one. So it's got a simple plug on the side here. It's got tangs that are holding it into place. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got to do in order to swap this guy out. So we have this panel here and this panel here is held on by a seven millimeter bolt here and a seven millimeter bolt there. So the first thing we're going to do is undo those seven millimeter bolts, pull this panel out, pop off the tabs here and that panel will be removed and it'll be able to get access or be able to slip our hand up behind this guy and pop him out. So once we do that, then we could swap him out with the TRX switch and it's a simple plug and play. So let's go ahead and start by undoing this bomb trim panel. All right, so once we have the seven millimeter bolts removed and we have the one, two, three, four, five, six clips undone, this panel could pop out and you could leave, I think that's the door chime, so you could leave that guy plugged in. You could also unplug it if you wanna get this out of the way, but there's also three other plugs in there. So we're gonna leave it hang. Now what we need to do is we need to reach up behind the dash and unplug this guy. So there's plenty of room if you access it up through this way to reach your hand up behind the switch and unplug it. And here's what you're working with. So, all right, in order to get this guy out of the dash, when you reach up underneath there after unplugging it you basically push this tang in here and then you got two tangs on the top that you want to push in once you do that the switch will pop straight out so i have everything loosely into place here so if i go ahead and just grab the bezel and everything and pull that switch out we are good to go so here's the old switch and here's a new switch we're going to replace it with so now what we need to do is pull that silver trim bezel off there i'll just get a little flathead so i can carefully remove it from the tangs We'll transplant that guy onto here, get this guy popped back into place, and we'll be good to go. All right, so we have our flathead. We're just gonna take that, put it underneath the little plastic trim. It's super loose on there, so pretty easy to pop that off. Then we're gonna take it and just transplant it onto the TRX switch. Once we do that, we're good to go. Then we could take this guy, fix our camera, and then it's as simple as just dropping right in there. Just align it, and there we go switch is installed so let's get the plug back in there and get the seven millimeter sockets or seven millimeter bolts back in place get that trim in and we're good to go all right so now that we have that switch popped into place the last thing we need to do is reach up underneath grab the plug and plug it into the top section of that switch and then get everything closed up so i'm gonna go ahead and do that can't do that with the camera in my hand but it's super simple it's just plugging in a wire that fits right into the hole there and then getting this guy closed up and then calling it a day all right, so we have the switch ready to go. Everything's plugged in, got the panel put back in there. So as far as the install, super simple. Undo the two seven millimeter bolts that are holding that trim panel in, pull the trim panel down gently, reach up in here, unplug the switch itself, grab the two top tangs and the bottom tang, push the switch out. The switch will only come out this way. Swap the silver bezel onto the new switch and just put everything back into place. So pop the switch in this way, plug it back in and reattach the panel down there with the two seven millimeter bolts. So, does the switch work? Debris. Boom, it does. 
awesome. Super simple project with a very nice, tastefully done interior modification to the truck. Why the Rebels don't come with this switch from the start, I don't know. Maybe it's just another thing that they want to have different on the TRX. But anyway, it's super simple to do and totally attainable. And I mean, if you know how to use a ratchet or if you know how to use a socket, then you will be able to get this guy installed. So I'll leave a link to this guy down in the description below. Feel free to go through that and order through accessory parts. They do distribute uh, factory RAM parts. So good deal on that one. But like I said, 32 bucks for this guy plus shipping or 18, 15, $18 for the overlay, what have you. Do what you want to do, but I think this has a really nice factory look. That said, thank you very much for watching. Take care.